guys we got another video today we're going to be checking out the next puzzle for the evm puzzles so we solved number one we're going to go on to number two um, if you go into the puzzles folder here um, you can go to puzzle two and then you'll have all the bytecode right here so we'll copy that i already have it pulled up in the playground here but you can paste it run it and then you'll have all the opcodes here and then i also have it pulled up in my terminal um, i've also solved this one on github so if you want to see the solution written out in github you can check that out here so i have the location the bytecode and the opcode just like it's laid out here um, and then i talk about the puzzle so i'll go over this so the goal in this puzzle and all of these puzzles is basically to reach the stop opcode right here and to do that you can see there's some reverts so if we just push this through like normal it'll hit the revert and what the revert does is if we go over to the opcodes we'll search revert so right here revert halts execution reverting state changes um, but returning data and remaining gas so it's going to stop the transaction so we want to make sure we jump over revert and that's what these jumps are for we've got a jump here and a jump test so again jump is going to take a location to jump to and that jump the location it's jumping to has to be a jump test in this case, it's 06. So jump 56, that's the opcode. It's at location three. And then jump jump dest, opcode 5B is at location 06. So we have to find, or we have to enter a value that will get placed on the stack by call value. And then we're gonna eventually want to use that value to jump to jump dest. So initially we might think, oh, we wanna put in 06 because that's the location we want to jump to. But if we look here, there's some other opcodes like sub and code size. So what code size does, we can see right here, um, it gets the size of the code running in the current environment. So it's gonna get this size of the code. And all of these opcodes are one byte. Um, push is more bytes, uh, depending on what you're pushing, but all of these opcodes just take up one byte. So there's 10 opcodes here. So they're going to take up 10 bytes. Um, that's O, X, A, and decimal. So that's, we're going to put in a value that's going to get pushed onto the stack. And then code size is going to take the size of our code and put that number on the stack. In this case, it's O, X, A, or 10 in decimal. So we're going to have our initial value. And then on top of that, the code size value. And after that, what we're going to need to do is use subtract. And the way subtract works, I have it right here. It's gonna take the first item popped from the stack, so the top item, and then it's gonna subtract the second item popped from the stack. So if we have a stack like this, we have a top item A, bottom item B, and uh, remember the stack is last in, first out. So whatever gets pushed onto the stack last is gonna be the first thing off. So if we see the stack here, A, B, B got pushed onto the stack first, and then A got pushed on top of B. And then when we're taking the items off, A is going to come off first and then B is going to come off. So if we have a stack looking like this with B on the bottom, A on top, and we use subtract, our result is going to be A minus B. So it's going to take the top one minus B. So we have to keep that in mind um, because it's relevant to our problem here. So if we start going through these opcodes here, um, passing in the value 4, and we'll see why in a second. So we're going to pass in the value 4 to call value. That's going to take 4 and put it onto the stack. So uh, before running this, we have an empty stack. So we're getting 4, passing it in, uh, to call value. Call value is going to take that and put it onto the stack. So now we're onto the next opcode, and we have a stack of 4. So code size is going to get the code running in this current environment, and it's going to place that onto the stack. So in this case, it's 10 bytes. Um, in, des or in hex that's going to be OXA so now we move on to the next opcode sub and we have a stack of 4 and 10 in decimal so OXA so now we're on to sub and remember it's going to take that first item popped minus the second item popped so what we need for sub is we need to uh, if we notice the next value is going to be jump so we need to put a value onto the stack that'll allow jump to jump to uh, jump test. Sorry, I'm fumbling over these words. So if we want to jump to jump test, 
we need to have 0, 06 on the stack. So sub should be putting the number 0, 06 on the stack. That's why we entered 4. Um, code size is going to put 10 on the stack, which we had, and code value or call value is going to put 4 on the stack. So we have a stack of 4 and 10. If we use sub following the last in first out principle, it's going to give us 10 minus 4. So sub is going to take these two items from the stack. It's going to take 10, and then it's going to take 4, and it's going to take uh, 10 minus 4. That result's going to be put back onto the stack. So this is one of those commands. If we search it up in the opcodes, let's see sub. We can see here it says stack input A and B, and then output A minus B. So it's going to take 2 and give 1. So sub. So that's going to take these two numbers and it's going to put a 6 back on the stack. So if we move to the next opcode jump, we can see now we have 6 on the stack and we're sitting at jump. What jump does is it's going to take a location to jump to. And remember it has to be a jump dest for it to work. So it's going to take this 6, jump, and check if it's a jump dest. So it is a jump dest, so we're going to move to the next opcode, jump dest. Um, so this, since we've jumped here, this is just going to move us to the next opcode. Jump test doesn't really actually do anything. So we move to the next uh, value, and we have stop. So now we've finished uh, the code. We've reached stop, and that's going to halt execution and solve the puzzle. So now we've solved the second puzzle. And just to make sure it's working, let's actually put this into the puzzle here. So again, we had the number 4. So it should take our number 4 put it onto the stack, it's going to take code size 10, put that on the stack, and then sub those two numbers, so it'll take 10 minus 4, put that on the stack, from there we'll jump to that number, which in this case is going to be 6, so we'll jump down to 6, and then from there, sorry, jump down to 6 right here, jump test, and then from there we'll move 1 to stop, and that'll solve the puzzle. So let's try this right here, we'll enter 4, and there we go, puzzle solved. And then if we want to see this in EVM codes, we can pull it up right here. And then we can run it and we can see all the upcodes here. Um, I have a problem with, oh, actually it looks like it's working now. So we go, we got call value four, it got pushed onto the stack. Now we're gonna get code size. In this case it's A, and remember in decimal that's 10. Now we're at sub, that's gonna take A minus four. If we run that, we got six pushed onto the stack. And now we're going to jump to jump dest. See, we have 6 here and 6 on the stack. So jump is going to take that 6 and jump down to 06. We jump down to 06. And now we're just going to move forward 1 to stop. And there we go. We have an empty stack and we've reached the stop command or the stop opcode. Now we've successfully completed puzzle number 2. Um, I'll put a link to this GitHub in the description. I also have the first puzzle from the last video. Um, I have this here. I didn't go over this in the last video, but I'll post this as well. And I'll be going through the rest of these puzzles. It looks like there's uh, 10 of them. I've actually only solved up to like six or seven. I can't remember which one. So I haven't even finished them all yet, but I'll keep posting up the solutions and videos for these as I go along. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And one more thing guys, come on down and join Sunny Gang. It's our Discord. Um, we have a good amount of people in here. We have a help channel where people are helping each other out A lot of people in here are building discord bots. So if you need help with anything like that, definitely join um, If you're interested in EVM or Ethereum at all, I'd love to have you guys in here as well um, There's not too many people that are interested in that right now in our discord So it'd be great to get like a small community of people interested in Ethereum and EVM and um, all that sort of stuff so if you want to learn about anything, ask me any questions or ask anyone else questions, come on down. I'll leave a link to this in the description. Thanks guys.